Okay, take two. That last video was an epic fail. Like, my camera sprung out of the tripod where my phone did and just went flying across the room and it was just crazy. Anyhow, as I was saying, had a great day at church. We had communion. There was a wonderful sermon on the book of Job. Not the whole book of Job. Actually, it was just chapter 20, or 33. Two birthdays to celebrate my son Joshua's and the pastor's wife, Pat. And it was Mexican potluck today. So, anyhow, it's just a, it was just a good day. Just a beautiful day. And stop by and see all our friend Bunky. Um, after that, he has a little shop on the way between church and home. So what I'm going to show you today are three things. One, I finally finished the crochet along I was doing, the Moreland crochet along from Attic 24. I'm going to put the link below. This is one of the first crochet alongs I actually did that took two months to do. I followed the instructions and I bought the yarn from Attic 24 so I'd have the right colors. And let me tell you, I am in love, love with the colors of this afghan. I'm so glad I did it. She based it on when she was walking at the Moorlands, and she lives in England. But anyhow, let me, let me, let me just, let's take a moment, shall we? Are those colors just not gorgeous? <laughs> yes, please. It goes up to the sky colors. Yeah, this, I mean, it's a huge, huge afghan, but I am just in love with it, in love with the colors, in love with how it looks. Just totally in love with it. And I think I'm going to put it on the back of the sofa. This is going to be my new um, display blanket for the sofa. I had one kind of a scrap gown that I had done back there, but now this is going, oh, I love it. I just love it. So I was adding 24's Moreland Crochet Along, and I ordered the yarns from England, and with all the colors it took for that, plus shipping, it was only like $26. So I was real, real pleased with that. Um, something else I got this week. Yay. Mary Jane's Farm Li Mary Jane's Farm Life Book. Recipes, ideas. I love Mary Jane's Farm. I think it was Dina who actually told me that her magazine was back in print and so I went under there and sure enough, so it's filled with recipes and how to dye eggs with wild things and how to turn coffee cans into a hammock and just, you know, all around goodness and beauty. Look at that. I love this book so much, so I'm going to really be reading it this week, trying a few things out of it. When I do, you're coming with me. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure that I video a lot of the things I'm doing, you know, on canning and growing your own food. So it's just hobo dinners. I think we all know how to do that. So, yeah. Mary Jane's Farm Idea Book. Looking forward to reading that this week. Then... Before the new Laura Childs book comes out, I wanted to make sure I read all of her, um, all of her tea shop mysteries. I'm really into the tea shop mysteries. Well, I like her scrapbook mysteries too, but the tea shop mysteries, I think, are my favorite. I like them both equally. Uh, tea shops are my favorite. So I had not read this one, The Silver Needle, Needle Murder. And so I'm going to read that because her new book comes out. This week, I think on the 7th or the 8th, maybe the 10th, I have a pre-order into it so it'll come directly to my Kindle so I can read it when it first comes out. One of my splurges. And so the last thing 
I won a giveaway from Dina at Divine Designs, and it was a lipstick giveaway. Um, she had purged some of her 420 lipsticks. I admire. I don't judge. I mean, she just can rock it. She just... She's the sweetest, cutest thing you ever want. I want to link her channel down below. I am sure all of you know who Dina is. But if you don't, then you need to. Because she's just awesome. Yeah. So she sent me a cute little note in the bag with this pretty little design on the envelope. I had to be in love with that. little graveyard girl action for you there. So then she sent this nice package with the zebra duct tape. And I am not going to read the name of these lipsticks mainly because I'm blind as bat. <laughs> I would have to be doing like this number and this number and this number and I'm not going to subject you to that we'll just have to live with my handicap okay but I know I know a couple of the colors this one is called kiss me Kate now kiss me Kate happens to be one of my very favorite musicals of all time so I am going to rock the kiss me Kate um, that was based on The Taming of the Shrew. Did you know that? And did you know that my favorite version or adaptation of Taming of the Shrew was with Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor? And do you know that now I'm going to have to go watch it because I've just talked about it? Yes. But Kiss Me Kate is based on that. So there you have it. There's a lot of musicals based on Shakespeare and stuff, you know. Kiss me, Kate. Tell me the truth. There was this one. It's a nice purpley color. I have not tried purpley colors, but now that I'm letting my hair go gray, I think I think they'll really look good with that. I mean, the bolder colors like that. Here's a nice pinky color. I don't know the name of that either, like I said. Unless it's written in big, bold letters somewhere. Oh, this is one of the Fergies, so... That's very nice. Too. NYC Expert Last Lip Color. Um, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Forever Fuchsia. I like that color too. The Wet n Wild. You know, I'm loving this color. Look at that. How awesome will that be this summer and spring? Yep. Here's another Wet n Wild. Nice kind of pinky brownish color, coppery color. I like that. Um, ooh, a nice red. Moment, please. Cherry Frost. Oh, yeah. I'm going to enjoy that. Cherry Frost. And this is um, a Sephora. I like that. And, ooh, look at this pretty, pretty pink. Ah, oh, moment, please. Dollhouse pink. Yes. You know my friend Beth owns Victorian. That's this color. We call it the Barbie house. Beautiful. Now this one is what I wore today. Um, so yeah, I opened it. I don't even know what it's called. Chunky lip. But it doesn't have a color on it. But here you go. And the Mega Last Lip Color. Gorgeous pink again. 
So those were the wonderful, wonderful blessings I got in the mail um, from the giveaway from Dina at Divine Designs. So, let's see, what have I got going on this week? Not much travel involved. I'm going to go visit my mom. We're taking Josh to Richmond on... Um, taking Josh to Richmond on Saturday, he and Jen, for their birthdays. And uh, that's about it. So what are you doing this week? Have you finished any cool projects that you need to tell me about? Anyhow, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Be our friends, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!